So sometimes when you're playing Abyss, you want to grab the fours, and almost all the time you want to grab the fives, and that will require you spending one pearl. However, pearls have another great use, which is to buy some of these lords and make it a little easier to afford them. So right now I have a four shellfish and a five squid. Okay, so together that is nine. This landlord, which I want to buy, costs ten and requires at least one shellfish. So that doesn't equal ten with, uh, with a five and a four. However, if I have one pearl, I'm able to purchase that, uh, that landlord when it gets back to my turn. Now, um, in my situation normally, I would have bought that. I, I would have bought that seahorse. However, um, it, uh, it doesn't make sense for me to buy the seahorse right now because I only have one pearl. So because of that, I am going to pass on that with the hopes that by the time it gets back around to my turn, I'll be able to purchase the landlord. Uh, and with a five and a four, affiliating that four shellfish for four points and getting a really powerful lord to start out the game with. Um, let me know in the comments below uh, what you think about that uh, little mini strategy there. Uh, you kind of want to normally spend the pearls on the fours and the fives, sometimes even the threes, but uh, let me know if you've ever tried that before. For the most part, I mainly just go for the, th for the fours and fives. Any threes that do come out, by the way, you can uh, take note that they were drawn because people might not grab the threes and then grab them as a whole stack with, with a bunch of other allies later on. So let me know and uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.